Hello, we've just been in a Sherlock Masterclass at the uh, Television Festival and I am joined now by Mark Gatiss, Stephen Moffat and Andrew Scott. Hello. Hello. Who have exciting three words to tell us about the new series of Sherlock. Will you share them with us? Uh, yes, rat. Wedding. <laughs> and bow. And, and bow. Yeah. B O W. Rat, wedding, and bow. Yeah. Bow. 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 Rat, yeah. rat, wedding, and bow. bow. Yeah, yeah. And so, are you going to give us any more clues as to what that means? No, 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 no. Then there'll be three further clues. Yeah, yeah. If you carry on like that, you'll have a script. <laughs> <laughs> so general idea. You're just going to throw them out onto the internet, which is now going to kind of go absolutely crazy. Well, and there's enough there. If you know your Sherlock Holmes and you know the things that are ahead of them, then you could work out a certain amount of it. Certain whether amount. or not, whether or not we've Same. stuck to what you uh, well, they'd change think. It completely. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, That's the fun. Yeah. And, and how do you feel about that reaction to Sherlock? Because it's in, it's massive, you know, positive. sort of. I, think, <laughs> I, think, I feel positive Generally about positive. it. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in terms of sort of, you know, so you created a drama that obviously you really believed in, and then it got this incredible, incredible reaction. I mean, you couldn't have seen that no, coming. Not at all. Uh, just the scale of it is really remarkable, and we've only made six episodes, uh, and the international reach and the popular reach people just love it to go from sort of zero to a hundred in such a short space of time is really yeah. incredible i'm sort of taking us back a little bit but i want to talk a little bit about the casting because you were saying very interestingly in uh, the session that benedict was the only person mm -hmm. you looked at at all mm -hmm. for uh sherlock could you tell us a bit about well, sue and i uh we're all thinking who is going to be our sherlock Holmes? we have some notion sue and i happened to be watching the film atonement and there was Benedict, and we just thought, well, you know, he's got the look, he's got the sort of demeanour. Um, and we mentioned him to, Mar uh, to Mark, and Mark immediately thought that was a good idea. So we just, we sent him a script, he liked it, he came in, he taped an audition, and we said, well, there's simply no point in looking anywhere else. We handed it into the BBC, they said, well, yes, yes, obviously, obviously that's him. So that was it. He is the only actor in the whole world ever have read that script to, to consider the part of playing Sherlock Holmes. I think as well, something which is genuinely heartening, because it's the sort of thing you don't imagine can happen anymore, mm. is that Sherlock Holmes has made a star out of Benedict. Mm. And, that, uh, and I think Andrew's impact as Moriarty, in, in, as I said in there, is in, in a remarkably small amount of screen time. It's comparably big, huge in fact, in terms of suddenly uh, making uh, someone a star from a part. And that's the sort of thing that's not supposed to happen. And it does, mm. and that, it's, it's really heartening that. that. There wasn't any pressure to say, well, it, but it's Sherlock Holmes, can't we have an established mm. yeah. TV or film name in that way? So imagine doing Sherlock, no one's saying, and we've got Benedict Cumberbatch, and everyone's saying, oh yes, that's amazing. But <laughs> back then it's just, could you run that name by me again? Yeah. What was that name, really? And Moriarty looks so much fun to play, yeah. Andrew. Is it yeah. just? It's absolutely wonderful it was. fun. Yeah, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It was absolutely wonderful. It's just oblivion and, now. Yeah, yeah. Which one are you? <laughs> <laughs> Did we do something? Yeah. Um, um, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it was incredible fun. Yeah, and it's down to the writing. I mean, it, it is down to the writing. It's very. I always say this. Very, it's very rare to find something that is um, that lots of people like and watch and that's of a very high quality and that's down absolutely to the writing I think what's what's happened as as a consequence is that it's attracted really good actors and really good um, directors and all that kind of stuff but it has to start with that thing and that thing that, that you said in the in the session there I think is really true and um, in a very cynical age I think the word love is 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 in is in um, is all over Sherlock. I was really, really um, surprised. I thought in the age of Twitter and um, the internet and forums and all that kind of stuff that the idea of um, who would be playing um, Moriarty or what the outcome of um, uh, series one into series two would be, or series two going into series three would be leaked. I thought oh, someone yeah. will, yeah. someone will know. Somebody in the industry will mm. will say that to some, somebody else or wh whatever. And it's amazing to me that, that people didn't ever give the game away. Uh, and I think that's because people like that idea of 
what what happens next that sort of very old school thing of, of just telling a really simple story be such a spoil sport wouldn't you to go, you yes, would i know you and would here it is. exactly <laughs> and here it is I, I always think that when people ask i mean what if i told you <laughs> you'd start crying well, maybe you wouldn't no i wouldn't no. <laughs> yeah. you'd be delighted yeah it'd be fantastic so it'd actually be, we're going to go <laughs> now you'll tell me yeah, yeah. it'd be a form of anticipation you yeah. go oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah true who wants to know yeah. nobody wants to you, you want to know in the most dramatic Everyone way possible. Yeah. Yeah. You want to hear it as part of the story. You don't want to be told. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's interesting because because being involved not only with this, but also with Doctor Who, as, as Mark is, um, both, uh, those are the sort of two big passions I had when I was a kid and as an adult. And it's just remarkable to me to, to, to learn relatively late in life that actually do the thing you love most and that'll work. And don't worry about what other people are going to think because we don't. We just make it, really, in the case of Charlotte, we, we make Charlotte to entertain each other. Um, is what we do. Please, and then, please the eight-year-old version of yourself. Yeah. If you can do that, then you will do yeah. all right. And how? I love, I've got back into Lego. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuzzy Fell. <laughs> Fuzzy Fell. I'm going to pitch Fuzzy Fell. No. Fuzzy Fell, a movie. Right. <laughs> and how how is the reaction being for you, Andrew? Because I'm kind of people it's, feel well very strongly about your. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds dodgy. Um, uh, 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 um, yeah, they do. I think that's right. I think um, it's been terrific. It's been um, absolutely mind blowing. I'm still. That's, that's, uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I was uh, um, very. Uh, it's really brilliant. I'm always surprised at the the level of of um, mail that still comes. And actually, what I found is that it's sort of grown and grown um, with the character because I think he's got a he's got a, he's sort of ever present. He sort of seems to be. Um, let's talk about the end of the second series because frankly that's all anyone has done since it's aired. You should have just made like two minutes of it. Yeah, just, yeah. just, just to yeah. find the ending. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how sort of planned was that ending? Did you know that was what From definitely... the very beginning. I mean really that's about the first thing we talked about in terms of the third series. Mm -hmm. it was, we were thinking well, we're going to build up to Wrecking Back and our, our ambition was to say well let's, let's go one better than Doyle. Let's have him die, and die as he surely must in, in Watson's arms, and be definitely dead, and just before the end credits, let him step into shot again and say, figure that one out. Um, and everyone has yeah. tried to. We didn't quite, I don't, we could not have expected, no. even knowing Sherlock was a hit at the time, we could not have expected how hugely that went over. The really amazing thing, really, I think, is that it, it does actually mirror what happened in the original stories. When Doyle killed him off, the nation mourned, Fashionable young men wore black crepe in their top hats. Doyle was attacked in the streets. Oh, but you but, but yeah. that, that's because he appeared to have killed him definitively. We brought him back within two minutes and we still, we still got the same reaction. Yeah. <laughs> people, I'm always getting things on Twitter, people saying, why have you, my feelings will never recover. And I just think, well, but you, it was only two minutes yeah. of mourning. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's back. He's dead. He's dead. He's not a ghost, or is he? Yeah. And we're always getting accused of oh. killing lots of people. And we don't, neither oh. of us. We don't kill lots of people. I mean, in fiction, <laughs> we also don't kill people in our private lives because that's wrong. That's <laughs> just plain wrong. Says, yeah, well, and it's God does, yes. Do you have favourite theories? Sort of, because there are so many theories. Have one, you, um, one particular theory we really like, because that's the yeah, one that's yes, going to happen. Yes, of course, yeah. yeah. But otherwise, do you have, like, hair theories where you just think, well, gosh, I wish I'd almost thought of that. It sounds so some, Sometimes you, I've seen a few where you think, mm, this, is, this is going on quite nicely. Oh, <laughs> where's that? No, or, or hmm. it was going fine until the giant pastry man appeared <laughs> and picked up Sherlock. There's a very, there is a very funny one, isn't it? Where, where it's just the, the footage has been re edited and Benedict goes over and it just sort of pauses and then he goes, <laughs> just takes off oh, like yeah, Superman. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Amazing. It's on YouTube, it's really, really funny. That is actually the solution. Yeah. Do you know the solution, Andrew? I do. Oh, you yeah, do? I do indeed. Okay, yeah. well, so basically. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> what happens is, So not only, of course, have you got Sherlock, you've also got Doctor Who. How does... I mean, they're just the two things that one people feel seem to feel so strongly about, you know, fans feel really strongly about. And also, they do sort of, you know, really... They're huge in British television. Mm. Is it luck? Or is it, how, how did you come to be in that position? Never, never underestimate luck or luck will show you what it can do. Yeah. Of course it's luck. Loads and loads of it uh, is luck, I, uh, but not my point of view. I mean, I was standing in the right part of the train <laughs> when it was going at the, the fastest speed. So a lot of it, a lot of it is, it is yes, dumb absolutely. luck. Yes, yes. yes. But, it's a, but lots it's, of it's, it's not. It's an incredibly yeah. privileged position to be in because it is, as Steve says, it's about those passions that have fueled us. And I can speak for myself, the sort of stuff 
that absolutely made me want to get into mm. show business and television and writing and acting was looking at the credits of Doctor Who or watching Sherlock Holmes movies and the sort of stuff that you just think, oh my God, it's Bank Holiday Monday. This is the best feeling in the world. Yeah. That, if you can try and translate that to other people and share that passion, then you're, you're on to a winner. Mm. Can you tell us anything about 50th anniversary Doctor Who business? Andrew will tell you everything. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew phone is ringing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should ask Richard Bacon. He's got very, yeah. very strong views yeah, on the subject. Richard. He's got very strong views and, 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 and sort of theories, I think. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ask him how Sherlock did it. I'm intrigued to know. <laughs> <laughs> but aside from Richard Bacon, you, you there do are you have... major plans ahead. One of them uh, uh, is, in fact, Mark's film, uh, An Adventure Based in Time, which is... Uh, uh, the, the retelling of the well, the telling of the story of how Doctor Who came to be in the first place, and the story of the first actor who played him, um, and there are numerous other things. In fact, I mean, I'd have tried to hold back on announcing that one, but we couldn't. Um, but numerous other things, uh, and it's going to be big, and we know what we're going to do, but it's way too early to talk about it. I mean, I've got, you know, I've got fourteen brand new episodes of Doctor Who before that even yeah. becomes an issue. So not yet. Patience. Mm, patience. Well, you do require patience because it's a long gap it's as well between shows. So is better. Is it? It's better. It's Oscar Wilde said, the suspense is killing me. I hope it will last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never a true word spoken. Yeah. But when Sorry you... for gripping your hand. Though, <laughs> it's okay. It's Would you two like to be alone? I don't know. If, uh, we can move off. It's fine. Well, yeah. 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 It's yeah. fine. Yeah. But when you create <laughs> such <laughs> suspense, <laughs> when you create such suspense, and then there's such expectation, does that? I mean, that must create pressure at some level, e even if it's something you really, really enjoy and you no, love. Honestly, doing. I know this sounds terrible, but we're just excited about it. Look, I, I'll tell you what's stressful. I'll tell you what's stressful is when you have a really, really hated, unsuccessful show, and you're forced to make a second series of. That, I will show you stress when you have to do that. <laughs> Failure is horribly stressful. A show that you think is good that nobody loves is stressful. A show that you think is great, everybody agrees with you on. That's not stressful, that's punch the air time. These are the days we'll always remember. When we're washed up and forgotten. These are the days, yeah. Moley. <laughs> <laughs> These are the days. And how, how long could Sherlock continue, do you think? 160 years. Mm. 61. Yeah. 161. <laughs> <laughs> But do you have any kind of end date? Well, at all? I said a long time ago, and I think it, it would be a, an amazing thing. Having started with Sherlock and John Watson so much younger than they are usually presented, yeah. and still being in the early days, their, their relationship and their characters are forming, it would be brilliant having made this success with a new audience and, and an audience who already knew Sherlock Holmes, but are very much with a new Sherlock Holmes audience. The idea of... What of growing old with them would mm. be fantastic to get to, the, to get them to the age of Basil Rathbone and Nigel Bruce. We, you, wouldn't you like to see that? Wouldn't you like to see those men being so much older in the age that you're used to the, seeing them be? Which be is ambition. Uh, you could do it like yeah. Seven Up. You know that mm. series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven years. Whatever you said, yeah. exactly. We're not far off. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No yeah. way. Yeah. If you think eighteen months <laughs> is long? After this here, you could do it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And on that note, I will say thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and we do look forward to the new series, obviously.